Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today we are going to curl my hair. Well, I'm going to do it uh, with my T3 curling wand. You might remember I bought it a while ago and I've only used it once to the point that I forgot how to use it. I forgot how to change the barrels because this one you can buy different size barrels for. And this is brilliant instead of having you know different curling wands with different size barrels you just um i think that came with the big barrel and i bought this one separately and it was very good price at the time i bought it directly from t3 and i've only used it once it's very good but i haven't curled my hair for ages to be honest i am i, I find curling hair a lot of work <laughs> i've got very fine hair the four I have to do a lot of rolls of curls so there is something underneath to keep it up. If you've got thicker hair and longer hair you can get away with doing just two sections underneath and on top. I have to do many more. So I've just dried my hair, you know, that's what it looks like, like feathers. I'm going to section like a rectangle just at the top. So you will need a lot of these different sectioning clips to keep your hair out of the way. Now I probably can go with one section here. This is exactly the same way that I section my hair for straightening. I probably can get away with thicker um, sections then for straightening and also you know my hair at the back is still quite short so the back is always challenging so with this iron you press it on here uh, the little lights start lighting up so obviously there is five of them um, if you have five on that's the hottest and I think to stop it at whatever level you want you press it again when your hair is, hair is very short what you should do with your iron don't try to do vertically curls like this just go under just so you get a bend in your hair because obviously it's quite short to go vertically mine just stopped at three dots I think I must have pre-programmed it, so three is obviously hot enough for me. <laughs> right, mind you, my hair is quite long here, so there, yeah, I can go social vertically away from my face so here at the back it doesn't really matter you know how good the curl is as long as you get a bend in it you know something like this because you're not really going to see this right So I have this piece next to my face, clamp it, curl it away from my face, back is always challenging because obviously I can't see what I'm doing. You can also do one towards your face, one away, that creates a bit more texture if the curls are not going all in the same direction. This curling wand is so, so good. I've had just a cheap one from Amazon for years and it did the job, but look at this thin hair here. 
I'm leaving the ends out so I want them straight you know you don't want to curl it all the way down otherwise you stuck it starts looking a bit old-fashioned so I turn it then let the head go a tiny bit turn it again let it go obviously not completely so your hair doesn't fall out from the curling wand but it takes a bit of practice so it's good to do it with your iron coat just so you get used to the movement okay And also, depending where you want your curls to start, if you want them to start right at your scalp, let me show you. So if I want it to start at my scalp, I go really close. If I want the curls to start a bit lower, then I clamp the hair a bit lower. I tend to go lower on these lower sections and I go a bit closer to my scalp at the top because I like the volume so I will show you that later. So this is what it is like in the back right now. I just feel that this um, this curling one gives me much more bouncy curls. I don't know how to explain. With my cheaper one, they were sort of looking really skinny and anemic. Now, um, if you use the bigger barrel, it will give you um, looser curls the smaller the barrel the tighter the curls i might use the big one right on the top but i like to do a bit tighter curls because they are going to drop especially with my fine hair so even if i get them a bit too tight after about an hour they're going to drop okay next section now what I'm going to do here to get a bit, bit of um, volume I think I've shown you this before um, I saw this girl oh, what is her name she's a hairdresser and she's amazing and she did that trick to I will put her in the description box because I really really don't remember um, she sort of gently from about above your ear back comb this bit and she used the Aveda air control hairspray just on the road so I'm going to go around all these sections and do that wait for the hairspray obviously to cool down i mean dry because you don't want to use heat on wet hairspray that will singe your hair and when that gets heat it sort of stays there and it gives you a bit of volume so i found that quite a good trick okay so now I'm going to start near my scalp so I grab what I just spray
and you see that will give me lift here. So you want to go near the scalp to lift that hair. Can you see I'm going right to the scalp and giving it that bend at the scalp. So I get all this left. Now, I'm going to section a bit on the top and go with that back. Front is the most tricky one to do. <laughs> I mean the top of your hair. So, I am going to do the same here wait for it to cool down and curl it sort of back and down but what I'm going to do for that is change to the bigger barrel uh, so I will be back in a bit because I need this one to cool down before I can swap them okay I've changed the barrel actually I didn't have to wait for it to cool down because what you do can you see this bit here you've got here um, you won't be able to see like two signs of a padlock one is locked one unlocked so to unlock it you move this and then i can pull it by this okay so we don't have to wait for it to cool down just lock it now okay let's do this bit so i'm going to go like this just almost like with a round brush so i get the body here and then I can take the end and curl the end okay I'm going to do one more here back I keep all my tools in these rubber pouches they are brilliant because also you can put your tool on the top of that i buy them on amazon and i have all the tools in those pouches really like them i am actually going to do a bit of that back combing all over this straight hair now apart from the very front i don't want that to stick out too much You know, most people have um, this part by the scalp flat but and just curls down here. But you know me, I like big hair, so that doesn't work for me. But if you quite like that more <clears throat> flat look, then you don't need to do this. Okay. Now, actually, I am going to swap in a minute for the... I will swap for the smaller one. I think this is too big for the length of my hair. Um, this is probably better, unless I want it like very, very just loose waves, or you have long hair and you want just relaxed curls. But I'm going to use this, just like this here, just to give myself, you know, that bump so my hair is higher because that big one didn't really give me very good curl here it just gave me a wave okay so i'm gonna go back to that one and just curl the end of it sometimes on these top ones i won't even open that i will just wrap my hair around it 
because sometimes it's too difficult to um, turn your curling wand with it clamped. Right, okay, let's go to the front now. So this time I am going to hold it down and I will wrap it round. I just find it much easier this way when I'm doing the top. Can you see where the hairspray was? I get the bump. And keep it pointed down. And keep the end out so you don't curl the end. It's like trial and error with this, you know. And I'm not someone that curls her hair very often. I'm doing the same with this. Put your iron downwards. Now this one I am not going to go close to my head because I don't want to have these big curls at the front. I'm just going to do like halfway down. This one I will still do that way. Now this bit you have to be very careful because you don't want it too curly. So just like this and keep it, keep it down. I want to be very careful not to overcoat this one. That's it. And check if I've got like this one here is not very curly. Go around and pick out any straight bits that you have and just curl them. And then I will let it all cool down and I show you what I do from there. Okay, so my hair has cooled down. I'm sort of going to do this. I don't want to brush through them. I quite like my curls separated. Now, as you can see, my hair looks now much shorter, especially at the front, because my hair is much shorter at the front and it just looks a bit thin. So my trick is I use little single clip extensions that I've just cut off from the big weft I've curled before and I can just poke them here and there where I want more length and this will add volume as well. I used to use a bigger weft on each side underneath and curl that so extensions are brilliant for doing that. Now what I used to use as a spray was Kenra volume 25. Unfortunately we can't get it anywhere in the UK right now and I found something that is quite similar and it's the Paul Mitchell extra body finishing spray. But I also have here, just found it in my drawer, hair by Sam McKnight Cool Girl and this is barely the texture mist. So I am going to flip my hair and spray that all over my hair. That should give me a bit of a hold, texture and body. Because, you know, remember this is all going to drop. I think this smells of cucumber. Yeah, it gives you a bit of grip. Right, now I'm going to 
see where I need this. I think I will stick one here. And I might have to curl it because it's a bit long. I must have had it when my hair was longer or I put it a bit higher. Let's curl it a bit more. I'm probably doing it all back to front. If there are any hairdressers out there, please don't have a go at me. I do this one forward. You see, that gives me that length here and a bit more volume. I will put this one here. Okay. Now we need to tame a bit the top. So I'm going to brush through it. Sometimes I will take a little piece from both sides and curl it back. This is just like making stuff up at the end of it. That's it. Let me show you the back. And... So that's what I've ended up with. I think having the extensions, those one clip extensions really help because if you've got very fine hair and you curl your hair and you like to have it a bit like separated, the light shines straight through it and it looks a bit pathetic and sad. So I like adding the extensions right at the front where I've got least hair. Okay, my lovelies, so that's the finished look. Like I said, throughout the day, they will drop drop down a bit. When I, if it's not humid and wet outside, when I wake up tomorrow morning, I still will have sort of curl. I quite like it sometime next day. Um, if I see that there are some straight pieces, I might just add a few curls the next day, or I can put it up. So um, yeah, that, I probably can get three days out of it. So tomorrow I might wake up and it still looks nice to have it down. Um, if not, I put it up and the day after that I can still put it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.